I asked you all what biome you wanted me to update next, and the Birch Forest won by a landslide. So in today's video, I'm going to showcase all the new features I've added to the Birch Forests. Also, only a small percentage of you are subscribed, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more videos just like this. Anyways, let's hop right into it. The first thing I fixed on improving was the birch trees, which have changed quite a bit. The first thing you may notice is that the new birch trees are a lot taller than the older ones. And in real life, birch trees average around 40 to 70 feet tall, which is about 12 to 21 meters. For comparison, a single Minecraft block is one meter tall, which means real life birch trees range from 12 blocks to 21 blocks tall. And the tallest recorded birch tree in the world is 36 and a half meters tall. That's an entire 36 Minecraft blocks. But for the purpose of this biome revamp, I made the new trees between 10 to 20 blocks tall. I've also added a new mushroom called the Shelf Mushroom, which grows out of the side of birch trees. These new trees also have a chance to spawn with a beehive on them, as shown in the official concept art for the birch forest. I've also added bird nests into Minecraft, and these new nests have a chance of spawning on birch trees as well. And since there are now bird nests, I've added woodpeckers to inhabit them. There are three variants of the woodpecker, the pileated woodpecker, the white-headed woodpecker, and the golden-fronted woodpecker. This new mob flies around the birch forest and spends a good amount of its time up in bird nests that are hidden away. If there are too many woodpeckers in an area, they will actually try to push each other out of the nests and take it for themselves. These birds also create ambient sounds for the birch forest as you walk around. Here's what walking around a birch forest sounds like now, and here's what walking around a new birch forest sounds like. As you can tell, having this mob in the birch forest adds a lot more ambient sound, which makes the biome feel more alive. You can also tame woodpeckers in the game with any kind of seed, as well as the sweet berries since that is what woodpeckers eat in real life. Once you have tamed a woodpecker, they will follow you around wherever you go, and if you stand close enough to your tamed woodpecker, it actually rides on your shoulder, just like a parrot does. Another new animal you can find in the birch forest is the bird-voiced tree frog. As you might know, frogs have been confirmed to be a part of the Minecraft 1.19 wild update, and I've added a variant of the frog to this biome. Besides the retexture, the frog works exactly like all of the other frogs in-game, but specifically inhabits this biome. Looking at the concept art for the new birch forests, you can see there is a hollow birch log laying across the ground, so I've added this feature into the game. There is moss that grows on either end of the log, and you can see straight through the middle of it. Also in the concept art, you can see a variety of new flowers all over the place, so I've added a few new flower types, including the mixed flowers, which are a colorful array of flowers, and the mature dandelion, which occasionally gives off a particle effect. I've also added a new mushroom type called the wrinkly peach mushroom, which comes in multiple different layouts. There's also a particle effect around the entire biome of falling leaves that adds a really nice ambience to the biome. And that's all I've added to the new birch forests. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to my development team. Making this add-on wouldn't have been possible without them. I also started streaming daily over on Twitch, so make sure to go check that out if you want to support me. With that, I'll see you all next time.